Monica, did you finish your homework today? Yes, I did. It was really hard to do, but some parts were easy. Oh, okay, that's good. Well, I haven't done mine yet. But I'm probably gonna do it later, maybe right before bed. Annika, why was the homework hard for you? I don't know. I'm just not very good at math. Um, Christian, what are you doing with that? Nothing, just seeing if the buttons work and seeing if my changes I made works on it. Do do do. Changes? What changes? We're not supposed to be playing with that gift that Sammy gave us. We don't even know what it does. We already know what it does. But if the changes are made, I will know what it will do. Christian, don't touch it. It's too dangerous. Checking the date, checking the numbers, checking the time. Ooh. Be careful, Annika. Don't stand too close. Why? What will happen? You'll see. Christian, what is it? It's a time machine. If I press this button right here, it should work. You mean the button you just pushed? Uh, yeah. Oh no, what's happening? <gasps> Where did Annika go? Christian, what did you do? I don't know. It must have sent her to another time. I don't know. I pressed the button. I didn't think it would go soon. And Annika shouldn't stand too close. Christian, Annika is gone. It's not her fault she was standing really close to it. You should have never pushed the button. What do we do now? Oh, you mean this button right here? Christian, why did you press it again? It's doing the same thing. Christian, we have to... Oh, no, Alicia's gone. What do I do? Oh, uh, what just happened? Alicia's gone and Annika's gone, too. I don't know what to do. CK, you didn't see anything. Oh, uh, what do I do? I know. I can call my friend Shane. He's really smart. I'll go call him. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hey, Shane, who is it? It's Christian. Christian? Hey, what's up? I got a big problem. You got a problem? Well, remember the changes you made me do on the teleportation device? Well, it looked, worked a little too well, and suddenly, Annika and Alicia vanished. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean vanished? You mean they completely disappeared? Where did they go? I don't know where they went. They must be somewhere in the future. You gotta come over and help me with this now. Okay, I'm going to come help. Thanks, Shane. You're the best. See you soon. Mom, I'm going over to Christian's house to help him with the time machine. Okay, so while Shane comes over, I gotta figure out a plan to keep Dad and Mom from finding out. Hey, Christian, what's going on? Uh, nothing, nothing's going on. Hey, listen, I was looking for your sisters. Do you know where they were? I don't know where they are. Maybe they're in the room, maybe outside, in the living room. I don't know where they is. Why so many questions, huh? Whoa, whoa, easy, buddy. Don't be so paranoid. I was just looking for them to see if they could pick up their jackets and their shoes and put them away. Anyways, have you seen them lately? Have I seen them? Uh, well, Alicia's got white hair, and Annika's got orange hair, and they both got dresses. So, yeah, I have seen them. Uh, Christian, that's not exactly what I meant. I didn't ask you if you knew what they looked like. I've asked you if you actually seen them. Uh, but it looks like I'm going nowhere with you. Anyways, if you see, see them, tell them to come look for me, okay? Uh, right, sure, yeah. Sure, Daddy, I'll also send them right your way. Oh, that was close. Dad kept asking me too many questions. Oh, there's the doorbell. I bet it's Shane. Hey, Shane. Hey, Christian. Show me where the time machine is. Okay, right this way. Oh, yes. I see the schematics that you did. Did you follow it all the way through? Yes, I did. I told you that I put the spring over in the back. Okay, you did it right. It should be working, so where are they now? Shane, they're somewhere in the future, but I have a problem. I have no way of the getting them back. Christian, that's easy. I'll send you into the time machine, and you got about five to 10 minutes to find Annika and Alicia. Then you grab their hands, and I'll bring you back to our time. It's easy as that. Let me get this right. I go into the future, find Annika and Alicia, and bring them back. Is that how it works? Yes, that's right. But just remember one thing. You have to be holding their hands in order for them to come back. It makes a connection between you and them so that they all teleport back to our time. You got that? Okay, I'm ready. I hope this works. Okay, Christian, I'm gonna change the schematics. Do not move or it's only half of you will come. Half of what? There, it worked! Now, 
time to start the timer. So as you can see guys, it's not that complicated. I mean the Paragium theory of mathematics and the equations are pretty simple if you just put your mind to it. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I made it. Wait a second. Wait a second. I didn't travel through time. I just teleported. Oh man, it didn't work. But why did it teleport to the classroom? Uh, I don't know. That's a little hard. Sam, did you get that? Yeah, you take two and you divide it by three. And then you take the three and you move it over to five. And then you do some cool math stuff. And then you get a triple X plus seven. That's totally right, Sam. Good job. See, it's not that complicated, guys. I totally don't understand this math stuff. It's so hard. I gotta find Annika and Alicia now. Sam, um, are you supposed to stay in the front? Uh, my name isn't Sam, it's Christian. Sam, you have to be quiet, okay? Uh, I gotta find Annika and Alicia before they figure out who I am. But who's this Sam guy? Now, I got to find Annika and Alicia. Hey, this guy looks like me. Uh, what do you think you're going, young man? Wanna find Annika and Alicia? Annika and Alicia? Um, I think they're at the nurse's office. Why don't you go take a seat back in your seat so we can finish our math problems? Go along, back to your seats. But you don't understand. Oh, I understand clearly. Just back to your seats. Fine. Oh man, he caught me. Now I have to figure out a way to sneak past them. Or maybe a distraction. Okay, now that everyone's back in their seats, let's continue with our math problems. Okay, remember, you gotta carry the two, divide by the three, carry that Paragium theory over to the side, put some brackets on it, and this that problem can be solved no problem whatsoever. And you need a distraction? I can help you. A distraction? Yes, I would love to have a distraction. Distraction? I can help. Do do do. Hello, hello, hello. Mr. Frost? Oh, yes. What can I help you with? Um, I need a little bit of help with my homework. Oh, with your homework? Sure, no problem. It could be a little bit hard, but I'll show you. Come over here to my computer and we'll take a look. Okay. Great, a distraction. I really like that distraction. It works so well. So, as you see, the mathematical problem of 34 is 35. I really hope Christian found Eddie and Alicia. His time is almost up. Christian! Christian! Oh, hi, Shane. Have you seen Christian? Uh, I think he's in the bathroom. He has a case of the worst stomach pains ever. In the bathroom, hey? Um, listen, if you see Christian, can you tell him I'm looking for him and Annika and Alicia? All right, yes, I'll tell him. As soon as he come back from his time. His time? Uh, what do you mean his time? Uh, uh, I meant his time in the bathroom. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Okay, just make sure you tell him that I'm looking for him, okay? Okay, I will. Oh, I think I made it to the gym. Oh, <laughs> it's girls dodgeball, Christian. Why are you even here? <laughs> girls dodgeball? What? I'm looking for Annika and Alicia. Have you seen them? Annika what? Alicia what? It's only girls dodgeball here. I don't know where they are. Oh no, I must be in the future. They don't know who Annika and Alicia are. Oh no, I don't have time for dodgeball. I'm running out of time. I need to find Annika and Alicia now. What am I gonna do? I'm definitely running out of time. There you are, Christian. Annika and Alicia, I'm so glad to see you. Well, we were in the nurse's office because we weren't feeling too good, and maybe the time travel has messed up our stomachs a little bit. Okay, now I found you, we don't have much time. We gotta hold hands so I can get you back into the present. Presents? I love presents. What? How do you look exactly like me? Oh, my name's Sam, and that's my dad. That's right, Christian. I'm his dad, and I'm actually you from the future. You sound like one of my classmates named Samantha. Samantha? Oh, that's my mom. That's right. Samantha is my wife, and Sam is our son. Wait a minute. If you're me from the future, and you married Samantha, that means I married Samantha too. Ew, I don't want that. That's right. You know what? I don't have time for this. Let's grab hands and go back to the past. And I gotta fix this thing with me and Samantha marrying each other. Okay, ready guys? Let's hold hands. Come on. Jenny, come on. One, two, three. Whoa, they just appeared just like that. They're gone. All right, time is up. Looks like they should be coming back anytime soon. Yes, you made it. Yeah, we finally made it back to our house. I love being back. I'm so glad I got you guys back. All right, guys. Now that the time machine is fixed and I got you guys back, 
Now, your dad is looking for you and he wants you to do your chores. No, oh, no, not chores. Quick, run away. Go! Well, I guess that means I'll have to do their chore. Wait, what? I'm not doing their chore. Run away. Hey, guys, thanks for watching our show. Hope you really liked it. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Dance party? Yeah.